Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. I'm fine. I'm just waiting for, anxiously awaiting for emails right now. From who? Uh, rich guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that post. Um, first of all, is this real? Tell the audience what you've done today on Craigslist. Well, you know, Dave and I were sitting at our desks earlier, and I said, dude, what if we started a segment once a week where we just sat on set and go, this week on if we were you know, stupid fucking rich, what would we do with our money? And then I was like, how funny would it be if we took a full-blown blimp, dyed it red, put Make America Great Again on each side, and then we just flew it around Hollywood and L.A. Oh, like my for God. For three days straight. <laughs> like, we would pack everything we would need for three days so it just wouldn't go away. Oh, <laughs> like, oh boy. And the fact that I know all the, uh, you know, the, the aerial sheriffs, like, so I could get the airspace. I know how to, appro- how to ask and get approval for airspace. So it's like they couldn't do anything. Man, like, I, I, I guarantee I, you the governor or the mayor would get involved. <laughs> it's, the, it's the I wrong people in this world that have money because this, this type of shit, like, okay, so whatever the opposite of that fucking asshole George Soros is, we need one of those on our, on our side who's funding shit like this. I would pay... Oh man, I would butt fuck some. I would murder. I would murder somebody to get that done. I just want to see that thing in the sky above <laughs> LA for for ten days. Because it like for ten days. Like here's the thing about LA that a lot of people don't understand. For as liberal as they are, they are whores, absolute whores for money. If you paid the right amount of money, they'd let you do this for weeks on end in LA. <laughs> <laughs> They really would. Oh, you know, city you know, would be I, would like, just, Sorry. I would just loiter right up at the hills and like right, right, right at the entrance of the valley. So it's just especially like get real, real in there during rush hour. Oh, you know, I, just so they have to stare. I would just I would cut the engines and we just float with the wind. I, 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 I could tell you the exact places to fly it on the exact times of day. Like, that's how serious I am about this. You find out where certain people are working and just oh. hang out right outside their window so they have to see it. It would be like genocide. There'd be you so roll many heads through, exploding. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you roll through West Hollywood starting at around 9 a.m. Because that's when all the agents are going to the agencies and all of that shit. And then you slowly move that bitch down Santa Monica right into the Pico area above the Fox lot. For then, lunch, for uh, everybody doing lunch. For lunch, for all the cast, all the crew. Then you loop that bitch up to Burbank right around the two to three mark. <laughs> right over Warner Brothers, the rest of those fucking studios just hanging high. And then right, right after that, right around 558, because let's face it, nobody in Hollywood really works that fucking hard because they're out of their offices at 558. Then you shoot that bitch over in the Hollywood Hills. That's when they're starting to come home. They're coming home to those gated mansions with the fucking wall around it that they don't want Trump to build that's built around their own house. Then you start to slowly <laughs> fly it down that fucking thing. Then you oh, go into the valley, you go into Brentwood, you go into Bel Air, and then you keep it in Beverly Hills for the night just so all of the sushi restaurants that are way overpriced, oh, that bitch I is would just put, hanging I there. would put lights on it, too, so it lit up at night, like just this glowing red glow, you know, blimp. <laughs> Just Whoa. Uh, so, Whoa. so so yeah, and Whoa. then at around three in the morning, we would just roll back to Paris, land, refuel, dump the dump the bathroom bucket, and then uh, just jump back up in the sky for <laughs> six thirty rush hour. This is a reality TV show. You need to have like the Google Maps car driving around underneath it, recording everyone's reactions. Oh, well, the, call it triggered. Why I think yeah, <laughs> why I think this would be so funny is because if you were able to keep this thing in the air three days. The stupid shit that they would be doing to try and get it out of the sky. Oh, yeah. <laughs>